Hi, everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Erin, and I'm Elsie. Hey, Erin, have you heard of Idris Elba? Sure, I have. He's a famous actor, isn't he? Yep, I love his movies. I think he's a great actor. Yeah, I've seen a few of them too, and I agree. But why are you asking? Well, I was doing some research about him, and I found out something really cool. Oh, really? What's that? He's not just interested in acting; he loves adventure as well, especially driving fast cars. Well, that makes sense. A lot of people do. That's true, but not everyone gets the chance to be in a new TV show about it. Ah, I see. So I guess we're going to be talking all about. About this new TV show in our article today.、Mm -hmm, you've got it. Well, let's. We should get started then. Let's hit the rope. Reading. Idris Elba. No limits. Idris Elba is known for being an action film star. However, away from the screen. He also loves to drive fast vehicles. Now he's challenging himself by driving race cars, driving speedboats, and skydiving. Elba's quest is also the focus of Discovery's show, Aegis Elba: No Limits. Elba's first challenge is to complete the Circuit of Ireland. This rally race is one of the world's oldest and most difficult. Elba has three months to learn how to drive a rally car. Then he'll go head to head against the professionals. To begin his training, he travels to the Monte Carlo Rally in Monaco. Elba has actually tried to drive a rally car before, but it didn't go well. He flipped and crashed the car. Although he wasn't hurt, he knows how dangerous the sport can be. The healthy fear he gained from that experience will serve him well for the training he has ahead. Now today's article starts out by saying Idris Elba is known for being an action film star. Now we did already know that, but did you also know that his voice was used for the movie Zootopia? So he's not only known for being an actor, but also known for his voice in this awesome movie, Zootopia. I didn't know that. Thanks for telling us, Aaron. Well, yes, he was the chief bogo in that movie. That chief police officer, right?、Eh? Mm-hmm. But what else does the article say about Idris? Well, the article says, however, away from the screen, he also loves to drive fast vehicles. Now the noun vehicle, spelled V E H I C L E, vehicle, is a machine with an engine that is used to take people from one place to another. As an example, we could say, "You should always check for vehicles before you try to cross the street." Idris Elba loves to act and drive fast vehicles. Vehicle, 车辆交通工具 What kind of vehicles are we talking about here? Well, let's find out. We know that some vehicles are trucks and、mm -hmm. buses and、yeah. planes, but the article says now he's challenging himself by driving race cars, driving speed boats, and skydiving. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of adventure. Now let's check out the verb challenge, spelled C H A L L E N G E. Challenge. Now challenge here means to test the skills or abilities of someone or something. For example, we could say, "I'm trying to challenge myself with a new job. I've never worked with children before, so I think I'll try that." To challenge something, 也就是挑战某人事物的意思 Idris Elba is now trying very hard to drive race cars and speedboats. Also, he wants to see if he has the ability、mm -hmm. to do skydiving.、Mm -hmm. So we've mentioned that he drives race cars, speedboats, and skydiving. The noun speedboat, spelled S P E E D B O A T, speedboat, is a small boat with a powerful engine that's designed to go fast. 
and skydiving, spelled S K Y D I V I N G, skydiving. It's all one word. Is the sport of jumping from an airplane and falling through the sky before opening a parachute. So race cars, 跑车 speed boats, 快艇 and skydiving, 高空跳伞 Mm-hmm. Now the article then says, Elba's quest is also the focus of Discovery's show Idris Elba No Limits. Now the noun quest, spelled Q U E S T, quest is one of my favorite words. It means a search for something, usually a long search for something that is difficult to find. Quest 在文章当中是名词的用法。代表追求、探索的意思。Aaron, why do you like that word so much? I think it reminds me of treasure hunts and interesting、mm-hmm. stories about pirates and explorers. I love those stories too. They are、mm-hmm. always exciting to me. Yeah. Well, let's find out more about this discovery show, though. The article says Elba's first challenge is to complete the circuit of Ireland. Now here we see the word challenge, spelled C H A L L E N G E, challenge again, but this time it's being used as a noun instead of a verb. As a noun, a challenge is something that tests abilities, skills, or strength. For example, we might say Jonah enjoys the challenge of hiking and is always looking for new mountains to climb. 同学们注意哦，我们之前呢看到 challenge 这个字呢是动词的用法，那在这边呢 challenge 是代表一个名词挑战的意思。那挑战者我们要怎么说呢？直接在 challenge 的字尾加上 r challenger 就是挑战者。So here we know that the first challenge that Alba faces is to complete the circuit of Ireland.、Mm-hmm. Now the verb complete, spelled c o m p l e t e. Complete means to finish something. For example, you may only watch the movie once you've completed all your chores. Complete, 也就是 finish 完成的意思 Okay, I get that he likes the challenge of driving fast and exciting skydiving.、Mm-hmm. But what is the circuit of Ireland, and why is it such a big challenge? Well, the article tells us it says this rally race is one of the world's oldest and most difficult. So the circuit of Ireland is a rally race, which is a car race on public roads, not on a private track, and it's the world's most difficult one, possibly because of the roads they drive on. Plus, you have to remember that rally cars drive at incredibly fast speeds. So first, the speed is really high.、Mm-hmm. Second, they are driving on dirt and muddy roads. No wonder a rally race, lally set, is very challenging. Well, next, the article says, Elba has three months to learn how to drive a rally car. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot of time to me. But I'm a terrible driver, so maybe it would be different for him. Well, if this is the world's most difficult rally race, maybe three months really isn't that much time. That's not it, though. The article also says then he'll go head to head against the professionals. Before we go any further, though, let's hear more about this phrase "head to head," which is today's shortcut for you. And in today's big chess match, Pat and Vina will go head to head. I'll start. This little guy will move here. Okay, I'll move my horse here. I have a question, Pat. Why did that guy say we will go head to head? Our heads aren't touching. To go head to head means to compete directly with another person or group. Oh, I get it. Head to head means 正面交锋的 My move. That queen's going there. Okay, I'll move one of my little guys here. Okay, my next little guy moves here. Ha! <laughs> You're no good at this game. <gasps> my queen moves here. <laughs> You've lost. 
not fair. I'll show you head to head. Oh, ow, ow. Okay, <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll play head to head again. Yay! I see. So head to head means that you are competing directly with someone or something else. Exactly. But let's get to the word professional, spelled P R O F E S S I O N A L. Professional now. Professional is often used as an adjective, but in this sentence, it's a noun. A professional is someone who has special skills or abilities in a certain area. For example, do you think you could beat Jeremy Lin in a game of basketball? He's a professional, and you're just a student. Professional 当形容词用的时候呢，是专业的 ；professional 当名词用的时候呢，是专业的人。So back to the article, he's going to compete with the professionals， 也就是跟职业拉力赛车选手竞赛。Well, let's see what Idris needs to do to get ready for his race. The article says. To begin his training, he travels to the Monte Carlo Rally in Monaco. Have you ever heard of Monaco before? I've heard of it, but I don't know much about it. All I know is that it's really expensive, and lots of rich people live and travel there. That sounds about right. I wonder if I'll ever go to travel there someday. Well, if you do, bring me. Of course. But let's move on to the final paragraph. The article says. Elba has actually tried to drive a rally car before, but it didn't go well. Uh oh, that's not good. I wonder what happened. Before we find out, though, let's check out the adverb "actually," spelled A C T U A L L Y. Actually, we use "actually" in this sentence to add new information to what we just said. For example, Kenny and I have been friends for years. Actually, we've known each other since elementary school. Actually, 也就是 in fact， 事实上的意思。Though he didn't do well when he tried to drive a rally car before, I believe he'll do it well this time. Okay, so the article tells us about the first time Idris drove a rally car. It says he flipped and crashed the car. So the verb flip, spelled F L I P, flip. Means to turn over quickly, or to make something turn over quickly. I might say, I love watching my father make pancakes. He always flips them in the air. So the article brings us back to the time when Alba tried to drive a rally car. He flipped it like a pancake <laughs> and crashed the car. Oh, so the next verb, crash, spelled C R A S H, crash, means to have an accident in a vehicle by hitting something else. For example, Ellen crashed her car into a tree because she was sending a message on her phone while driving. Crash, 撞击，坠落 Sometimes we might hear the news say some airplane crashed to the ground or into the sea.、Mm -hmm. Crash 在这边就是当坠落的意思。Luckily, the article tells us although he wasn't hurt, he knows how dangerous the sport can be. That's good news. I hope he learned his lesson. I think he did. The last line of today's article says the healthy fear he gained from that experience will serve him well for the training he has ahead. Now, the adjective healthy, spelled H E A L T H Y, healthy, is used to describe an attitude, feeling, or behavior that is natural and sensible. Sometimes it's healthy to have a fear of dangerous things. If we didn't have that fear, we'd all be dying by doing stupid things. Healthy is not used to describe our bodies or food we eat here.、Mm -hmm. Healthy 在文章中呢，形容的是心情。什么心情呢？ Fear, 恐惧的心情 With healthy fear, we would think twice before we do something really challenging.、Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure if everybody's learned that lesson quite yet. You're probably right. Well, I've got a healthy fear of driving fast, so you won't see me in a rally car race anytime soon. But let's get to the last vocabulary word for today. The noun experience, spelled e x p e r i e n c e. Experience. 
An experience is something you do or something that happens to you, especially when it has an effect on the way you feel or think. For example, my first experience swimming in the ocean was amazing. I loved the water. Experience 在这边当名词用是经验的意思。那 experience 本身也可以是动词的用法。For example, we can say I experienced the biggest earthquake in Taiwan when I was little.、Ooh. Anyways, I hope after Alba got healthy fear from that scary experience, he'll do better in the following training for the race. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we've got to talk about Idris for today. So let's get to our for you chat next. For you chat. So our for you chat question for the day is: Do you like to drive or ride fast vehicles? Why or why not? My answer is no way.、Mm. It's no way for me to drive fast vehicles. I got the fear maybe because I've seen the terrible traffic condition in Taiwan.、Mm -hmm, that makes sense. The cars and scooters are always rushing. Right. It's too frightening for me to think about driving fast vehicles in the city or even outside the city.、Mm -hmm. But I'm not scared of riding on speedboats. Okay,、so、I've tried like it before. And it was fun. I loved it. Okay, well, for me, I do like to drive in fast vehicles sometimes, but I have a very healthy fear of other people's driving,、uh -huh. and I'm not a great driver in a car. So in a car, never.、Um, but on a scooter, I do like to drive fast sometimes, especially outside of the city. But I know that other people maybe don't drive as well on the scooter, and so, so I always have, have to be, be careful. careful. Yes,、mm -hmm. you don't hit people, but people hit you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And speedboats, I've gone in speedboats before too, and they're pretty cool. Yeah, but um, I I, I like slow boats too. I'll say slow boats.、Mm -hmm. And I've never been skydiving, though I have been bungee jumping. Oh my god! And that was too fast for me. I think I can do bungee <laughs> jumping. It was really scary. Oh my god! All right. Well, what about you guys? Do you like to drive or ride fast vehicles? Why don't you talk about it、yeah. with your friends? Talk about it. And、uh, unfortunately, we have to go for today. So for English for you, I'm Erin. I'm Elsie. Bye bye. Goodbye. Idris Elba. No limits. Idris Elba is known for being an action film star. However, away from the screen, he also loves to drive fast vehicles. Now he's challenging himself by driving race cars, driving speedboats, and skydiving. Elba's quest is also the focus of Discovery's show, Idris Elba: No Limits. Elba's first challenge is to complete the Circuit of Ireland. This rally race is one of the world's oldest and most difficult. Elba has three months to learn how to drive a rally car. Then he'll go head to head against the professionals. To begin his training, he travels to the Monte Carlo Rally in Monaco. Elba has actually tried to drive a rally car before, but it didn't go well. He flipped and crashed the car. Although he wasn't hurt. He knows how dangerous the sport can be. The healthy fear he gained from that experience will serve him well for the training he has ahead. Vocabulary review. Vehicle. The soldiers have a number of vehicles they use in battle, including tanks and trucks. Challenge. The politician challenged the president's idea. For a new law, by saying it was a bad idea, Henry took the challenge of riding his bicycle from the east coast to the west coast of the U.S. Complete. Kevin finally completed the video game after playing it every day for several weeks. Actually, I have actually been here before. But I was a very small child when I last visited. Crash. Two people on scooters crashed into each other 
when neither driver tried to stop. Experience. Traveling around Europe during university was a unique experience for Bob.